Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy VFX's video, and I've got for you today a first turn kill on Dullahan Advance. Not a one turn kill, not, you know, like a two turn kill or something like that. First turn. And I've got a breakthrough discovery on her build. I didn't... What? Okay, for some reason it was taken off, but this actually works on Elena. As you can see, this tag never really meant anything until now. She actually has the debuff tag. Or breaker tag, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, it actually does work on her. So this is extremely breakthrough. Uh, this is going to help with a lot of builds in the future. Um, it's actually insane how, how this is going to work on her. And it actually works on her Brave Shift form too. She, she shares the same tags on both sides. That's actually quite good. What I've also been discovering is that her Brave Shift form isn't really that strong. I think her base form is still stronger, especially with the uh, burst turn of the Star Supernova. Sadly, it's only one turn, one time use, but it, that, that puts her over the edge of being stronger than uh, her Brave Shift form. I tried making her Brave Shift form work. It just doesn't, it's not as strong. But I will mention, and I'll show it, I think I'll show it very quickly if we have time, if this video is not long enough, uh, if this video is short enough. So basically what you do, if you want to burst, she can actually cap her own chain if you do two times revitalizing strike. And you do one of either Light, Shine, Light Shall Be the World, or Evil Blanche Be Vanquished, or Evil Doers Beware. These three are all one hit moves. I don't know if you can see the mouse. Let's see. You might, you should be able to see the mouse. Uh, so these three things here are one hit moves, and they're actually quite strong because they all get the 400 times mod buff. So in theory, she could do some burst damage. But her base form is still stronger because this is an insanely high modifier. The first bit of this mod is like six 600 times or something like that, and the next one is like way higher than that. I didn't I didn't even, I didn't bother calculating the bottom one because I know the the top one is pretty strong as it is. So with the setup here, oh I forgot to show the gear very quickly. Uh, this is the gear for base form. We're not using the brave shift form. So with that being in mind, I think that's I think that's pretty good. Let's get into it. And like I said, we're doing a first turn kill. No two turns, three turns, whatever. First turn kill. Doesn't happen very often. And even Esther can't do this because you need a turn of setup. I mean, technically maybe you could, but you, you would need a lot of setup for that. Uh, so we're doing the break and we're also doing the sword in peril. And Sylvia is going to buff and also lightning imbue and lightning in peril. And Yuna is here for the 160% 160% uh, Reaper Killer. I actually don't think we need 160%. I think I, I was trying for Yuna when I when I was using the Brave Shift form, and it only brought him down to like 20-ish 20, 20 percent. I'll show you guys if this video is going to be short enough. And I'm showing you guys what I'm doing here. So two times Gemini Blade, I may have clicked on the wrong one. So just Gemini Blade because it also gives, them, it gives itself a modifier when you use it. And Migs and one just doing nothing. He's just here to cover in the first turn. That's it. All right, here we go. And there we go. Done and done. First turn kill, guys. And now I'm going to show you the damage. Very good damage. Very, very, very good damage. Um, about equal, actually, on both sides. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you guys the Brave Shift form. Just... Uh, just to show you guys the difference in between power and because some people said that oh the brave shift form is not useless well let's let's set, let's put that to the test here are right, we here are back and shout out to all my friends who gear for me much appreciated and here's her brave shift form much well, easier to build of course but at the same time she's a lot weaker and so we have 300 reaper killer we have more than enough tdh we're still the same vision card however and, and actually in this form we can actually change out this. We don't actually really need it. And we could actually swap for the drag Dragon Quest card. I don't want to waste too much time here. I want this to be pretty short. So as you can see, we get a little bit more stats. And we also are st still have the 4%. Alright, let's get into it. So as, as you guys saw um, before, we're doing the same exact thing. But this time we're sticking to the Brave Shift form. Just show you guys the damage from Paris in here. And you can do the math that you would like, but I already did the math myself. Doing 
Two times chaining and one times finishing is much stronger than doing three times chaining. Let's let all this go through first. And I'm not promising to beat this guy, I'm just showing you guys the comparison here. Now for some reason this still kills him to zero, I'd be really surprised because I've done this... <laughs> I've been trying to do this for over an hour now, so I doubt it. See, that's about where I got. Actually, that's that's higher variance than normal. Normally, it's around 20%, 23%, give or take. So, the difference is quite a bit. 10% of his HP remaining is still quite a lot of HP, if you think about it. Obviously, we can win on the next turn, but that's not the point. So, obviously, with this in mind, her base form is still stronger, but very hard to gear for. Compared, to, It's, like, so weird. Her base form is so much harder to gear for in the current uh, times where TTH is king. And in the Brave Shift form, she's meant for TDH, but she's slightly weaker. Um, if she had, I wish she had Gemini Blade in her in her Brave Shift form. I think that would help out a lot more. Well, with that being said, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoy this little find that I found here. I'm sure most of you guys may have already found this out, but I wanted to share this to you guys very quickly here. The Obliterator's Battle Dress, and some of you may not have this, but if you do someday get this, this is for breaker units, and she is a breaker unit technically. Um, I don't when I when I think of breaker units, I really don't think of Elena, but sure. Shh, don't don't tell don't call Gumi if they if they find this out. But uh, yeah, two hundred percent TDH, very nice. So thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll hope to see you in the next video. Peace.